Welcome to Swansea Then and Now. We're on location at the Goldenrod Grange Hall with Carol Lee Barrett. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the history of the Grange Hall, some of the things that they've done over the years, and why it's so important to keep our older buildings. This is a historical building, and it is on record mm -hmm. as a historical site. Right. And um, so, Carolee, what are your first memories of the Grange? Um, my first memories of the Grange is helping on the um, Old Homestead Supper, which we served every year on Saturday night during the Old Homestead play. And I'm pretty sure the very last night that they were going to do the play, and the Grange was going to serve the supper, we had over 400 in attendance for the supper. Wow. And would they serve downstairs only, or did they serve downstairs and upstairs? Um, some remember? of the years we served both upstairs mm -hmm. and downstairs. Mm -hmm. And so we'd have to carry all the dishes upstairs and then take them all downstairs wow. because we never used paper plates or right. anything like that. Right. And we had one lady that used to make all the baked beans. She would make them in the... Um, the electric um like, like a crock pot no the oh. ovens like oh. you know the, they were big mm -hmm. and um then different ones would offer to make cookies and we always had coleslaw and um coffee tea you know to drink or mm -hmm. water mm -hmm. how many members did you have at that time we had probably about a hundred mm -hmm. Um, for the last couple of suppers, I think we were down to like 60. Mm -hmm. But, um, and we're still going, but we're not as strong as we have been because a lot of the members have passed away. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're just trying to, you know, keep going with what we have. Right. And some of the Granges have disbanded. So we've gotten some of the members from other granges to join our grange. Mm -hmm. Is the Walpole Grange still in existence? As far as I know. Yeah, that's the only one that I knew of before this one. And I didn't realize that there had been one in West Swansea as well, which was called the Lincoln Grange. Right. They were 112 and you guys were 114. Right. Yeah, yeah. And they also had one in Keene, which was Cheshire Grange. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what number that one was and they still have one in Winchester mm -hmm. that's in existence. Yeah. So I believe they broke ground here around um, 1914, and the Grange Hall opened in 1916. Um, this was a big deal, because this was very important to have a Grange who could stand up for the farmers. Were right. you, did you have a farm or? No, no. no. But, but that's what it was originally right. established for. But it was right. a great community um, place for gatherings right. and we have the stage in back of us here with the original curtain which has been painted over with a, a beautiful um, painting of Swansea Lake but this has actually been painted over. Did you know that? No. Yeah. If you look really close and you probably aren't going to be able to see this at home but there is wording here in red oh. and so from some of, isn't this interesting? You didn't <laughs> even know yourself. No. But Lee Dunham and I have been talking quite a bit about some of the buildings, and a lot of the curtains are the original curtains we were very lucky to have. But somebody went around and they would sell advertising, and so that's how they got their curtains. And then somebody came in and painted over it, but it is what it is. So let me see, what were some of the other activities that you did besides dinners? Did they have plays always, here? We, or? Um, they used to get dressed here when they did the old homestead play. Really? They used to use this as the dressing room mm -hmm. because there wasn't really any place over there except under the stage. Right, which is dressed. very small. So they would come here and um, we also, like I said, we always had the supper during the old homestead. Mm -hmm. And um, we had, and most of it was they were always Grangers that were helping out. Mm -hmm. And before we, because I'm one of six children, and before we were old enough to join the Grange, mm -hmm. we would come and help on the supper. Ah. And um, 
different things like that. And they would have youth nights, which was for people under the age of 36. But we had a lot of people, you know, come and join because yeah. you could join the Grange at 14. Uh huh. Because you said when we were talking before that they had different levels. So what, remember they had like the junior level and then yeah, some, the it junior, moved up. Yeah, the junior, then subordinate, and then Pomona, which was um, countywide. Mm -hmm. And then you would have state, and then you would have national. Mm -hmm. And my husband and I were lucky enough to be chosen as young couple one year, and we got a trip to Lincoln, Nebraska. And um, what would you do at these conferences? You would meet the other people from about your same age group mm -hmm. from, from different states because mm -hmm. there were, I think, 38 states that had state ranges mm -hmm. and they all met once a year at the national session. Um, and they, would, they always had a, um, a tour when you went to to that and you could you would go on tour mm -hmm. um, and different things and you'd get to meet the other contestants from the other states and then they would pick on Saturday night they would have the um, coronation ball and pick one of the state winners as the national young couple mm -hmm. of the year. So this was really important and, and it, um, I believe the officers it was a big deal to be an officer of the Grange. Yes. And they had even like secret meetings, I believe. This is what I've read. I don't know about Swansea, but some of the Granges had like their secret meetings. Well, it, usually most of the meetings were not open to the public. Right. So it, you had to know the password or words to get into the meeting. Um, unless, you know, you invited somebody as a guest speaker and then you would allow them to come in. Mm -hmm but you had a secret password, you had a sign that you had to give during the meeting, and um, I think that was the only two things that were really sacred about it. Mm -hmm. And Was this the, we have a piano over here, was this piano the same piano that was here when you were younger? Yes. And was it in tune? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a nice piano, but um, so did they have like um, school things here at all, or did they do anything else besides just Grange activities? Just Grange activities. Grange activities, yeah. yeah. Did the Grange have any kinds of reasons to use the stage? Do you remember anything that they did for presentations or anything like that? Um, yeah, because we used to have it when we were doing the degrees. Um, there's always um, a setup for each degree, mm -hmm. so you would have it depending on which degree mm -hmm. we were doing. So they'd have a ceremony? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, people would march around the hall and mm -hmm. different things. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's been an interesting thing. And the one thing about the Grange that's different than a lot of the organizations is we were an alcohol-free society. Mm -hmm. So a, a lot of people liked that and some didn't. Mm -hmm. So if they didn't like the idea of not mm -hmm. having alcohol, then they wouldn't join or yeah. they would join and they knew they weren't going to be able to get any alcohol. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, meeting. there was a lot of other buildings like that too. The Mount Caesar Library, when that was left, they also made the stipulation that there would be no drinking, no smoking, and that the boys could ring the bell on the 4th of July. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, like a lot of other places, I think we're trying to make the, um, the community centers of the town uh, wholesome so that people had a place to go and they could feel yeah. safe. Yeah. I believe we also had Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts that would sometimes meet here mm -hmm. yeah. also. Yeah. What would you like to see as the building? I don't know how many people are still members, but what would you like to see as the building? I can't say that it's going to happen, but... I would like to see that get back up and get more people that were interested in joining the Grange so we could use the hall again mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. a regular Grange meeting. Yeah. Um, 
or if they didn't, if they could turn it into some kind of a community building, you know, for the kids or different ones that could use it as long as it would do adult supervision, you know, here, because you'd hate to have the place ruined right. if it was only kids coming in and no adults. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Well, I know that the, um, the Swansea Preservation Society um, was uh, started back in 1992, and they've been doing some work to get this place cleaned up so that it is going to be able to be used. And they're looking into working with the town of Swansea and possibly getting an LCHIP grant or some other grants, hopefully, to renovate this building because it's very, it's very sad to lose a building like this right. when it's been here since 1916 and it's got history to it. The thing is, it's gonna need quite a bit of work. So right. that's where we're looking for help from people in the community right. because it has no sprinkler system. Right. You know, they have to have um, ways for um, people to get out of the building, you know, for the fire escape. We have a fire escape, but it's right. probably not up to code. It was good back then, but things have to be um, brought up to code. Right. So, you know, there is a little bit of work here, but there's some people on the committee that are really interested in helping out, and I know you're on the committee as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really hoping that people will think about this building because I have been going by this building all my life. I lived in Keene when I was growing up, but I went by this building so many times and wondered why there was a sign that said Swansea Preservation Society on the outside, because I never saw any people coming in and out of the building. Right. And so I think that it would be really nice to give it life again so that we could have some activities here. And I know that I've talked with a few of the people that are um, teachers in the area or that have something to do with the schools and they have mentioned that wouldn't it be nice for the kids to have a place where they could do small plays right. or you know have a group to you know practice or have fun i know that in a lot of the other buildings there used to be bands um, fife and drum and different things like that or skits that they would do yeah. on the the stages during the holidays and at christmas time they would do things as well so these are just things that it would be really nice to be able to bring back That's true. and see what we can do. And, and like you said, you know, getting more people into the Grange. I think that things have their, their lifetime um, and this one is ready to be, again, rejuvenated right. and have things go. Because I've talked to the other people that are on other Granges like the Walpole Grange and it's like anything. People are really busy right now, but I think we need community. And I think that's what's lacking in a lot of our society right now. I listened to something on NPR the other day and they were talking about empathy. And to me, that means caring about somebody else and putting them uh, up on the list and being able to um, stand up for them. And I think that's what you guys did as Grange members, right. is you stood up for each other. And when it came time to do a fundraiser, you all got together right. and you all worked out everything that you had to do and somebody made the beans and somebody made the pies and you all had a job and even the kids had a job. Yeah. 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 So we have an event um, through the Swansea Preservation Society that happens in May and it happens on the third Saturday in May. This is going to be our first annual um, this year, but it, we're hoping that this is going to continue on. This is going to be called Grange Day oh. and we're going to do an open house. We're going to do a pie eating contest. We're gonna do a skillet toss. We are gonna have little chicks here from uh, Cheshire Horse and some other things. Uh, I think um, Mike uh, Johnson is gonna bring his tractor over. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is bring awareness back to the Grange. We're also doing a coloring contest for anyone who is in kindergarten through sixth grade and they can do a coloring contest and win a prize. So. These are all our ways of saying, you know, let's not let this die. Let's see what we can do to keep this building going and to keep the history of the Grange going. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. And as we do this, we're gonna be doing tours to, as well. So we'll give tours of the building. It's, there's not a lot to see. It's not like there's a lot of rooms, but the upstairs is beautiful. Here we are upstairs where the, um, the stage is. We've got original chairs yeah. that were here. Um, the kitchen is there. It may not be there forever, but it's a beautiful kitchen right now. Mm -hmm. The original stove is there, I believe. Yes. Yeah. And um, 
you know, some of the woodwork and it's built really well. You can tell that it's still standing yeah. for a good reason. And one of the things we were planning on doing and, in, and hopefully are still doing is putting in flush toilets. Right. Which we hadn't had before. Really? You never had toilets here? We had outhouse toilets. Uh -huh. you know, oh, I do, see. Compostable we, kind of things. Yeah. yeah. But never flushable mm -hmm. toilets. Right. And we have the... Um, the rooms are downstairs. The rooms are downstairs. Yeah. And, and the plumbing is in, I believe. Yeah. And yeah. we've got... I think we've got the necessities mm -hmm. to make it at the right. bathroom. It's just having the money to have it done. Right. Right. Right because it does cost. So, you know, that's what we're hoping is that the community will um, back this project. And I mean, it's not something that the town is going to expect everybody to, you know, increase their taxes for or anything, I'm sure. But it's something that we are, we are going to be looking for the community to be able to, you know, help us out a little bit. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. So any other memories that you can remember or think about from the past? Any kind of special activities that you we, just never will forget? We would always have a youth night and the mm -hmm. youth would come from all over the state and we would have games and things like you might have something where somebody was blindfolded and had to you know touch something else mm -hmm. or different things like that and we, we always had a good turnout for youth nights. It was usually 80 or 90 people and sometimes wow. a few more than that so you know, the youth were willing to get out and go around to Granges, mm -hmm. and back then there was a lot more Granges than there are today. Right, right. And um, I don't know how many Granges have youth in them anymore. Mm -hmm. I know we have a couple that, that are still youth age that belong to our Grange, mm -hmm. but because youth goes up to age 36. That's incredible. I'm so, I'm still not a youth, but 36 is pretty good to be a youth. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it worked out, you know, well, and yeah. different ones would do different things. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a different day. There weren't quite as many activities available right. to people, but this was a great place for people to meet. And who knows, maybe people met and got married. You never know, because this was how you met people is by interacting at these kinds of social gatherings. Well, I know some of the people that belong not necessarily to our Grange, but in other Granges in the area, did meet at a Grange meeting mm -hmm. and did get married. So yeah. I've known some of them. So. Yeah, yeah. So we have, we have got um, lots of memories here at the Grange. And I hope that you have memories that you want to share too. During this event again in, um, let's see, May we may not do it, but in July when they have Old Home Day, we're going to have a memory booth. And this memory booth is going to be for you to come and tell your stories. So you can tell your stories about history, about Swansea, about things that you recall. Bring your friends, bring your grandparents, bring your grandchildren. And there's sure to be stories that people want to tell. So I'm glad that Carolee was able to join us today. And we'll have plenty of other shows for you. But we're trying to get out on location now that we have uh, a little bit better weather. And we hope that you will also give us ideas of what you'd like to see. So today you've been at Swansea Then and Now. And we hope you'll join us again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.